Hey, my friends. Welcome back to Rosie's Creative Wings. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so today I'm bringing you um, a um, collaboration that I joined. And this collaboration is um, coming from Isabel. I'm crafting with Isabel and um, Dahlia from Mandalay Cards and More. Um, they did a collaboration um, on a journal, nationality journal. And so I definitely wanted to be a part of this collaboration. I thought it was a great idea and um, it's a great journal to have so that you can keep it for yourself and add more things to it, you know. So um, I must say this video is probably going to be a little bit long because the journal that I made is a colossal journal. I mean, there were so many pictures that I was able to find and print. Um, and then so I did a lot of research and uh, learned a lot of things. And so my um, journal is about Brooklyn, New York, because I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. So that is what my journal is on and about and so i do have a lot about brooklyn and i also have some about new york because there won't be a brooklyn without a new york right so there's five boroughs in new york and so um i did about brooklyn but i also did um some parts of new york as well so i wanted to show you my journal and this is the journal that i came up with um, at first, I had a very skinny spine, and then I realized that I had so many um, pictures and things about me as a child growing up and things like that, um, that I wanted to add to the journal, a lot of like memories and things like that. And so um, I decided to make the spine a little bigger, and then I made it a little bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have a three inch spine, which I never did before. This is my three inch. This is a colossal. Look at this journal. It is huge. And then, so here, I don't know, it kind of like warped a little bit on this part here, but that's okay. Um, maybe I could just flatten it with something. So it did warp a little bit there. Um, so. Look at this, it's huge. Three signatures, which I've never done before. This is my first time doing three signatures and my first time doing a three inch spine. So what I did the cover was um, this right here, these um, folders. These are really good to do covers. Um, these are really, um, these are the older ones. And um, I had a lot of these at work that they were gonna get rid of. So of course I took them and these are really great to do covers and use for crafts and things like that but i really like the color for this journal so i chose that as the cover um and then let me just open it here so i can show you a little bit more so this here the closure is actually um cheesecloth that i found on timo and this is it here i bought two of them and And here is my cover. So I found this image of the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, and then I added here New York, Brook New York City, Brooklyn. And I added the American flag and the Puerto Rican flag. So I'm just going to bring it up so you can see it. Very beautiful image. And I love this image the most because it does have the Freedom Tower right there. So what I did was I did like a border, um, I did collaged, um, and then I kind of like put the picture or the image right in the middle of this little border here that is collaged, and I also sewed here and then sewed here as well. So and then um, so here is also these little um, fringes right here. That's also cheesecloth um, that I make these little florets and I just added them and that is how I was able to do that 
So I did it on the top and the bottom and all the way throughout the journal. And it does have a little uh, trim. I'm gonna bring it closer so you can see it there. And I just left that like that because I liked it um, like that. Uneven. And then here is a trim that um, I purchased on Timo. These little things come out still. So. Um, and so I put it there in the center of the spine. And the back is just plain. And there I got a little stain of glue. And there is the front. So it is packed, packed, packed. Um, so I would suggest you get a cup of coffee or tea. This type of video is good so when you're going to go to sleep or you're about to go to sleep and you watch video because that's what I do. When I'm going to lay down, and I usually lay down, watch videos, you know, YouTube videos, catch up on my videos, and um, I'm able to watch the videos for a long time. So um, this type of video is good for that. If you're going to go lay down or you're ready to go to sleep, but before that you watch videos, then this would be the video for you to watch. So um, it is going to be a bit long. I'm going to try my best to explain and talk about the journal as fast as I can. So again, this is different. And then so the inside here, um, I kind of did like a collage and I added some signs of New York. So, um, you know, you see a lot of graffiti and things like that. I saw this like on a, uh, the front of a like business, in New York, like that with the dripping of the paint and I loved it. So I just added it here as a collage and I put there is Statue of Liberty and I add the Statue of Liberty there and I just collaged around it. And then, so here we're going to start with Sunset Park, Brooklyn. That is my, um, the section where I grew up. Um, I'm now living in Borough Park, uh, Brooklyn, but this is the section where I spent most of my childhood. I went to school there and that is, um, I left as a teenager to Puerto Rico from there. And so that is, and I still live um, probably about two or three blocks away from Sunset Park. So I'm not far away from that. I'm always in Sunset Park. Um, and so that is where I grew up. That is where I went to school. That, I spent my childhood there. So Sunset Park, Brooklyn, um, that's the one I started with um, here. So I just added a pocket here. I added that. Um, and then here, I wanted to show the hospital where I was born. So this is actually in Borough Park. So even though I lived in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, um, my mom, the hospital that she used to go to was in Borough Park where I live right now. And so this is the hospital where I was born, that round one right there. And it's like inside, uh, in between the buildings, I was born right there. And right now I live just two blocks away from the hospital. And then here is another picture. You can see the round part better right there. My brother was also born there. I think my sister was the only one not born there. And my children were born there, my two kids. So I wanted to start with that. So I was able to find a lot of pictures um, online of my um, community here in you know in Sunset Park um, so I was happy about that and I did a lot of research on other things that I didn't know before and now I know so that's why I enjoyed this um, this journal doing this journal so as you can see it's so packed look at this oh my goodness so anyway um, here we have some journal pages that I just added I added a lot of printables that I found that were colorful and just designs because of course, this is an eclectic type of journal. Nothing is matching. Everything is different colors, and that's the way I like it. So, um, And I did um, print them on both sides, so you're going to see a lot of them like this. So here I have um, 
the church that I was baptized in, and this is in Sunset, Brooklyn. That beautiful church, St. Michael's. And my son was also baptized there. And here is um, a part of Sunset Park. And from this, um, this is the park that, of course, the whole, um, the whole, well, the section that I was raised in um, goes by. So this is Sunset Park. And you can see the church right there, the same church I just showed from a distance. And let's see. I did add pictures and I try to add like, you know, um, tags and things like that. So I added this tag there and I added this little ruffle. I also added pins like this just to make it interesting and pretty. Then here I have um, my high school that I went to. Um, that's Dewey Junior High School, huge school. Just wanted to show you and give you guys an idea of um, the places and things that I did when I was young and where I was born. So that's my high school right there. Here I have some of the um, buildings that are in my community. A lot of buildings like that. Um, also different types, just wanted to show that. And then I just have a tag right here that I made. Then here I added um, this digital that I made. Um, I wanted to add something that has, of course, Puerto Rico, because that is my heritage too. Um, and although I was born here in Brooklyn, New York, um, I did study in Puerto Rico for three years. I went to, I started in that school that I just showed the first year. And then the remaining of the years, I went to Puerto Rico and I studied in high school over there, graduated over there from high school and uh, did my first year of high school in Puerto Rico as well. So um, I'm also you know, part of Puerto Rico, that's my heritage. My parents were Puerto Rican, so yeah, and I hold that dear to my heart. So I just wanted to do a digital where I can show both. And this is the island of Puerto Rico, the United States, and um, the Puerto Rican flag and the American flag. And then here I have some beautiful pictures of the island. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's Puerto Rico right there, or parts of Puerto Rico. Um, here is Old San Juan. This is what they call a morro. Beautiful, beautiful. I added that little sign right there. Just gorgeous. And here are the beaches. Yes. And then I put this pocket. So I, I try to do like different pockets in this um, journal. I got creative a little bit. I think I changed things up just a little. Um, I just wanted to do things different. I did use a lot of the pockets that I showed in my tutorial. So yeah. So here we have the envelope. Um, I have a pocket over here. I didn't close the top to make it into a pocket. I have this here. Um, I did. I do have little um, charms like this uh, throughout the journal. Um, so what I did was. I just reinforced this here. I added some cardstock and I just um, stamped out a little hole and I added the um, the light bulb pin there with a charm. So you're going to see that throughout the journal. Um, then um, in this envelope here, I have, uh, let's see what I have here. Oh, so this is what you would see if you come to New York or if you're been to New York before, you'll see things like this. This is actually from Spanish Harlem, and this is a building that's actually um, has this art on it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautiful. So I saw that and I was like, I need to just make that into like a journaling card. I thought that was cool. And I did um, get something from Spanish Harlem because my mom, when she came to New York, before she thought about having 
kids and getting married. Um, she, I think she was like 19, 20 years old when she came. And where she resided was Spanish Harlem. And she was there for a while um, when she was single and working. And um, so that's why I have, she talks to me, you know, sometimes she tells me stories about when she came and she was young and she lived in Spanish Harlem and she worked in the factories and all these things that she did. And so then her sister came and they were like roommates and stuff like that. So um, this is Spanish Harlem in the times that my mom came to uh, New York. And I love, I just love um, seeing pictures like this, like the old time pictures and just looking at the history and all that. And um, I have so much fun just um, researching and looking at that. And so this is a part of Spanish Harlem. So I thought this picture would be nice there. And then I saw these three boys here with the Puerto Rican flag um Puerto Rican flag hats and I thought they were so cute so I just added that picture there adorable look at that thinking cute yeah so I just did this printable too um and then here is the market of uh, Spanish Harlem back in the day um this is probably a little bit earlier times but they called it La Marqueta in Spanish Harlem and that is where they would go to get their food and things like that. So what I did here, I just added these little um, corners here. Some of them I have purchased from Timu uh, just to hold these pictures in and just to, I thought it gave it a nice look too. Um, I just gotta put it right back the way that it could sit nicely in there. Yeah, you go. So, and then I added these flowers. These flowers are also from Timu. Um, I didn't like the middle and I did break the flowers apart and I just switched the colors around and I just added like a flat um, back bead on that. So you're going to see these flowers throughout the journal as well. Um, here I have my floating pocket. Um, I show this in my tutorial. So, and I also have like this little um, um, scrabble. I just made, put it on the pin there. Oh, it just broke. Oh, it's all right. I'll just glue it back. And <laughs> that's funny. Um, so here I have Sunset Park again. Um, and so families and stuff, they go to this park, especially like for um, the 4th of July, because it overlooks the city. You see it right there. So this is kind of like a high hill right here. And People go there to relax and have lunch if they're working and stuff like that. And then you could see the city right there. So it's beautiful at night. And for the 4th of July, everybody goes there and they do the little picnics and they um, bring their food and they cook and they do all that stuff in that park. It's beautiful. And then here is another side of the park. I grew up going to that park. I remember to this day falling and scraping my knee really really bad in this park riding bike in this park roller skating in this park doing everything in that park as a little girl so that's fond memories and then here are some more houses of brooklyn just wanted to show that put that back in here Okay, and then here I also added like these little ruffles here, kind of like the same ruffles I did in the front. Um, so that's the way I did most of them, and I just put them together. So you're going to see those little ruffles right there throughout the journal as well. I just wanted them to stick out. I added some pizza and bagels, because New York, that's pretty much what people eat here. We love pizza. Um, you see pizza shops everywhere, and then there's bagel shops everywhere too. So I added these um, two images there. Um, and then here we have Industry City. So Industry City is also part of Sunset Park. Um, growing up, there's, uh, it was a place where it was kind of deserted because um, it was just an industrial site. So there was only factories and um, just industrial. People never really went down there. Um, there was also like prostitution going on down there. So a lot people never really went down there unless you worked there. And um, if they did walk by there, they always went with somebody because it was so lonely and industrial. And this is what it looked like. Very, very industrial. 
And so I remember um, always uh, passing by uh, that, but with my cousin. I never went by myself. I was very young at the time. And so every time I went to visit my cousin, he would pick me up and we would walk together. And we would always walk by these factories like this. Um, and then um, here are some more pictures. And it was very long, just industrial, just to see like that. Here I have a um, just a tag of city streets that I added there. Um, here I put a fire ha um, hydrant. Here I have some beads, light bulb pin. I added some like um, construction warning signs there. Here I have another tag of city streets watercolor and then here is another uh, printable that I this is actually a picture that I made into the sheet um, that is the industrial site that I was talking about and then I wanted the reason why I'm showing you that is because I wanted you to see now they named it industry city because now they um, reconstructed and they kept most of these old uh, factory buildings, but they made them into these beautiful lofts and department stores. It's just gorgeous. So I just wanted you to see what those buildings there, like that site. Which one was it? I think it was um, these buildings here that used to look like that. Now look like this so now they do performances and everything this is what it looks like now so you can still see the buildings and there's so many of them because it's like blocks and blocks of buildings and so now they made it into they um kind of like remodeled them and of course kept them but um remodeled them and made them like into a whole row of department stores and they also have like family events and they do performances now it's just beautiful now so now you can go with your family they have these beautiful restaurants now um so that's part of it there, and look how beautiful now. So you see the buildings are still there, but look at the bottom. People are walking by. There's like a boardwalk. Um, there's shopping uh, stores. You, there's restaurants. So they made it into this beautiful, beautiful um, place that you can go with your family, and I thought that was awesome. I love when they take things and they just remodel them and they don't get rid of them, but, you know, some of these things are like landmarks. And buildings and so and there's so many of them so I could see why they did this rather than uh, bring them down um, and then so here I have New York City taxi cab just a picture there journaling card and then I made this tag too added some of my watercolor a doily here I have a one of those car signs street signs here I have another printable here of uh, the Times Square, the city, um, and just coffee and things like that. Here I have a food truck. You're going to see tons of food trucks in New York, Brooklyn, everywhere. Here I have another flower. I think they're pretty green. Here is landscape of the city in watercolor. I have a musical card there. And then here I have one of those envelopes that I made. Here you can see with more detail um, Industry City. And that is what uh, they did for the summer. You can go there and they have like seating. And you can go with your family. Really, really pretty. And then here it is at night. I just printed out a lot of pictures because... Um, I really want to keep this journal. And then here we have, um, they also made an ice skate, ice, ice skating ring for the winter. And that is what they do now. So I thought that, um, I think it's awesome. They have a lot of activity for kids. They have the trampoline um, center. It's really good. So here are some of the art that you'll see there in Industry City. You can still see the buildings on the side. Beautiful. I just put that red apple there with New York. These are some cardstocks that I had, vintage. Here's another one of those little flurries. 
Um, here's my art that you can find in Industry City. And then I just added like the signs there, the um, street signs. Here, this picture here I thought was so cute. This is actually a picture from New York, uh, the Sansom store. And you see that in, in it's a giant um, statue, but you see the Dalmatian there with a taxi cab on its nose. I thought that was so cute. And that's the Sansom company in New York. Oh, this is also clipped here. So I did um, this tag here. It says to Brooklyn only. And then this here is just a, um, while I was researching, I found a lot of like um, old um, clippings and newspaper clippings. This is actually a clipping of um, the apartment here in New York when my mother arrived to New York. And it actually says six rooms, bath, steam, heat, um, hot water, supply, convenient to subway and bridges $25 $25 um, six rooms and then this one says here five room apartment the Warwick I guess that's more, a more fancier um, place $42 so I thought this was so interesting I love stuff like this um, so this is like apartments that were available for that time. My mom tells me that for that time, there was so much work, like so much work. She could have left one job and go, and go straight to the other. She said there was so much work. And that's why a lot of the, she said a lot of um, people from her town in Puerto Rico um, came to New York because they wanted to work and they found so much work. And then also in Brooklyn, they have the famous brownstones. So I just added this here, Brooklyn brownstones. And they're... Um, these beautiful homes that are made from the stone um, that was originally like an orange stone, but it turns brown after a while. And these are popular um, homes that are so expensive right now. Um, one of them probably goes for like two to three million dollars. And um, I, I, where I work at in Park Slope, they have a ton of them. That's the, that's the um, borough of the brownstones, and they're so beautiful. And so I thought I'd add that here. Um, this is um, a little bit of the history of the brownstones. Um, so the brownstones were built and they started building them after the Civil War. And so that says a little bit about it there. Um, here are some of the pictures of the brownstones. So this is what they look like. They're just gorgeous. Beautiful. I have more pictures that I'm gonna show you. This is just one style of them. Um, the, those neighborhoods where they have the brownstones are gorgeous, just gorgeous. So here I have just an envelope and I left this part. Oh, well, did I? No, I didn't. I just added this journaling card inside. I added some collage there. Um, here I have the stickers for some girls in the city. Here is a um, watercolor image of the brownstones they're just gorgeous um, and here are some of the styles of the brownstones right here beautiful look at that they're just gorgeous and um during my um researching about the brownstones and the history of them i found out that these stoops right here you see that i always thought that they just made the stoops because that was a part of the design but they actually made these stoops because back in the day when they started making these brownstones, which was right after the Civil War, um, they had horses. And so they didn't want to track the menorah to their home. So they made these stairs. So as they go up, they could get rid of the menorah or the, you know, the poop of the horse and they wouldn't track it into the house. Isn't that crazy? I didn't even know that that was for that, the stoops. And also for flooding. So they created these stoops like this for flooding and for the manure of the horse. And then they have styles like this. So you see this part right here. Like this part right here. They made that so that it won't carry the dirt into the home. And there was a lot of floods. So 
the floods will go up the water and it won't get into the home. So that's why they created those. That is what we call stoops now, where we usually sit down on them. Look at this is another style of the brownstones. So that was very interesting to find out. I didn't know that. And so I found that out, which was good to know. Um, here's another flower. Here I have a musical note, a musical page. Here's more of the, this is the other side of that image of the bounce stones, beautiful. I just put that stop sign there. Um, and then also in Brooklyn, um, just want to give you a little history. There was a plane crash in 1960. Uh, two planes collided and one of the planes actually landed in Park Slope where I work at, right in the middle of 7th Avenue, which is where I work at too. And this was 1960, 129 people died and um, six people on the ground died. And so I just wanted to show you this. This was like, um, they said it's one of the most um, tragic events that happened since, of course, the second most tragic after this was the World Trade. And so I just wanted to show you pictures of that time, 1960. Look at that, right? Look at the plane. And this is right where I work at now. Very close to it. See that? And then here I found some color photos of the disaster. You can't really make out a lot, but right there. So while I was researching, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just talk about this too. Look at the plane and the firefighters trying to put out the fire. That's the plane, parts of the plane right there. Here, tragically, you see the firemen um, taking a body. Wow, that's amazing. So here, um, it was December 16, uh, 1960. United Airlines bound for Ivywood Airport. Now, John, that was that was the name of the airport before it was named John F. Kennedy. Um, New York City collided with in midair with a TWA. Lockhead Super Constellation descending towards LaGuardia and crashed on Miller Field. What so the other plane crashed in Staten Island and this plane here um crashed in Park Slope, Brooklyn. And wow, look at that. So that's really, really interesting, you know, to know the history of where you're from. There goes the plane and everybody around it. Um, and then here is another image. Wow. There was one that I had of the building because when the plane came down, um, one of the buildings, it took a part of the building down with it. Um, so this here, this is actually the paper that I um, bought on Amazon. And so this is actually the clipping of when that happened. So this says New York Times. And I just printed it on the paper. So it says 127 die as two airlines collide over the city. Jet sets Brooklyn fire killing five others. Second plane crashes on Staten Island. Wow. So that's that. Oh, here it goes. This is the one I wanted to show you. So you see right here, when the plane came down, it just took half of that building right there. You know how terrifying that must have been? That must have affected all of these people right here. The noise and oh my God, that must have been so terrifying for these people. And look how this, this reminds me of um, World Trade when it fell. It's horrible. Look at that. Look at that disaster. Wow. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I wanted to have the depth because that's, you know, that's history. Um, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So here is more of the beautiful art that you see in Industry City. Here I just added um, this sticker here, vintage sticker. Here you have another um, little um, pin with some beads. 
So here is another part of um, where I'm from, probably about a half a mile away. It's called the Brooklyn Navy Yard. has a lot of history. Um, here is um, part of the industry city still. So the Brooklyn Navy Yard was um, a super humongous uh, station yard where um, the military repaired the ships and made um, equipment and supplies for the war. Um, and so that is also part of Sunset Park. Um, so this is a here. This was back in the day and it's called the Brooklyn Navy Yard. And those are the ships. That's actually the picture of one of the ships that um, used to station there and they would repair it and do whatever they have to do um, to send it back out. Um, they made the weapons and everything for the military there too. So this is what it, this is now, this is what it looks like now. Um, it's a lot bigger than that. This is just a picture of a portion of it. But I think I have another picture where it shows the whole, actually 70,000 people worked there back in the day. So, and I think this is the picture here. Look at that. The ships used to come here um, and they had so much work there, like all types of work in there back in the day. And this was for, um, what was the year? Let me see. I actually wrote it here. Um, so it was established in 1801, the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Um, and it lasted for 165 years. And so um, it was an operational until 1966. And so it's, they made it into something beautiful again. Um, nowadays, it is look it's something different, but I'm going to show you that. But look how beautiful, look at that. Look how huge that station was. And so here they have, um, these are the soldiers, some of the soldiers that were there. Um, that would go there, work there. Um, and then we have a lot of the ladies back in the day um, did a lot of sewing in, in factories there. So they did the flags. I love this picture. Shows all the ladies um, sewing the American flags, creating the American flags. Beautiful. And then here is another ship that docked there. That history of this is so interesting too. So here we have some musical papers, some more, print, more printables, Statue of Liberty. So here I have some more pictures of the Brooklyn Navy Yard. These are old ones. This is the, I think when you go in the entrance, that's the entrance of it there. And this is the entrance of it now. So this is today. And that is what it looked like before. See that? And then here is um, there's someone do, giving a speech there. You can see the soldiers, the American flag. I had so much fun just researching this and just getting pictures. I love that all that history, especially when it was so close to you and right here in the neighborhood. It's amazing. So um, here we have some more um, of the ladies that worked in the Brooklyn Navy Yard creating the flags. Um, there was also ladies who did welding and did man's jobs, which I was so impressed with. These are the ladies that did that. Uh, they did welding, um, they did mechanics, and these are the women that worked there, original pictures. And I thought that was awesome. Here's a woman working on their cars and jeeps back in the day for the soldiers and then here we have them girls or women having lunch but that's a welding company a welding program that's awesome i love that and that's the brooklyn navy yard so interesting so much history I think um, there was a picture that I found of John F. Kennedy. He also went there to do a speech. Um, here is actually a picture of the Brooklyn Navy Yard. 
Um, I just made it into a little book. So here is that one of the ships docking and then the other one there in color. And I just made it into a little journaling book right here. This is the tag here with the brownstones and I just put that ribbon on it. Um, and here are some more. So this is what um, some of it looks like now. That's the modern one there. I heard that you can shop there. I haven't been down there in a while. Um, I've passed by it all the time, but I haven't actually went in. But um, there's a lot of shopping stores that you can go to. Um, then here, they also have now the ferry that you can take to the city. So they kind of use that now for so many good things. They have restaurants and things like that now too. So you can see, still see the old buildings. But now they made them into industrial. Um, they remodeled them, but they still kept the industrial look of it. And there's a lot of restaurants now and stuff like that that you can go to. Kind of like Industry City. They kind of remodeled it uh, to use it for, repurposed it in other words, which is awesome. Um, and then here, uh, part of that is the uh, Brooklyn Waterfront Ferry. I'm just going to bring this up so I don't take them out. And there goes the ferry that I can take from here, from Brooklyn. I can just walk down a few avenues, take the ferry, and it'll take me to the city, which is right there by the Brooklyn Navy Yard. And then um, this picture here, as you can see, while you're sitting on the ferry, you can see the city. That's awesome. Um, then, uh, let me see. This is part of it. Is this part of it? Yeah. This is still a part of it. So many pictures I found. So this is John F. Kennedy ready to do a speech in the Brooklyn Navy Yard in 1964. That's him right there. I think that's awesome history. Then um, these are some of the areas that they made into restaurants right by the waterfront, which is awesome, beautiful. And then here is uh, the shopping mall. So it's, it says Brooklyn Terminal Navy Yard on it, but now they made it into like shopping malls and things like that, which is awesome. So that's beautiful. Um, and then we have the Brooklyn Promenade. Um, that is an area by the bridge where people go to sit down and watch the... Um, the city skyline, um, people jog there, they ride bikes, um, they'll just sit and have a good time. At, um, if they're working, they'll have their lunch break. That's beautiful. So here I just have like a silhouette of New York when the towers were on, up. I thought that was beautiful to put there. And this is uh, the Brooklyn Promenade, which is right by the Brooklyn Bridge. This is the actual picture which I made into a book as well. And then people go there to sit. Beautiful, I just made a little book, another one. I made another one of these folders here. Another one of those pins with a flower. And then here I have the other side of that, green promenade. And you see overlooking the city. Uh, and then here is that same picture I just showed on the booklet. Here is the Brooklyn Bridge again. Um, restaurant right in front of it. They have so many beautiful, I put this flower here too. So many um, restaurants by the water where you can sightsee and just sit there and have a good time. Then here, this is the other side of that um, printable uh, Spanish Harlem 1950s. And this is what kids did back in the day. In the summer, they played in the street um, by the pump, just wetting themselves on a summer day. And I remember doing that growing up. That was so much fun. That was how we spent our summers. Beautiful. Um, I added here the New York Yankees. Um, this is one of my favorite pictures. This is actually a postcard of the men that um, did constructions and had their lunch on top of a bean, on top of a bean 
in New York, Fearless Man. Isn't that awesome? I love this card, this image. Put that there. Here's the other side of that printable with the Puerto Rican flag, the American flag. Love that. Here we have a fairy. More of the brownstones, and there's the tag here, just with uh, street signs in Brooklyn. Here we have Brooklyn Bridge, and most of the bridges are here. Um, let me see, I have tons of images. I added this part here too with the um, Empire State Building. This is a picture of Spanish Harlem. And so here we have the Brooklyn Bridge, and the Brooklyn Bridge um, opened in 1883. Um, but it was it started construction 1869 and was completed in um, 1883. So that's the Brooklyn Bridge. It's a beautiful, beautiful bridge with a lot of history. Um, and it connects, of course, to Brooklyn. Most of the bridges that I'm going to mention here, they all connect to Brooklyn. So Brooklyn, Manhattan, Brooklyn, um, um, Staten Island, but they all connect to Brooklyn. Um, and so this is the this is like another view of the Brooklyn Bridge. You can see the Freedom Tower that's right next to it there. And then I just wrote a few things here. Um, so according to New York Department of Transportation, more than 100 vehicles, 10,000 pedestrians, and 400 cyclists cross the bridge daily. But it does have a walkway that you can walk. It's beautiful. And it takes 60 minutes walking across the bridge or 25 minutes if you are on bike or rushing, which most Americans do. We rush, 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 rush. I mean, most um, New Yorkers do. Um, here you have the taxi, New York City taxi. And here is a um, cardstock, a scrapbooking paper, sorry, scrapbooking paper, vintage that I have. Um, here I put a man um, with his trumpet or whatever you want to call that because there are a lot of street performers in New York. Um, the Brooklyn Bridge and Watercolor. Here is this beautiful image of the book. I love these black and white images, so I had to put them there. Beautiful. Here's this one here. And that's um, the pedestrians walking on the bridge. So I added these little corners here. I think that's a really nice way to keep your images in your journal. Here's the other side of that watercolor paper, the Brooklyn Bridge. And then here I have an envelope, and here's the hand of the Statue of Liberty. Um, and then let's see what I have in here. Okay, so these are pictures of um, kids playing um, in the pump back in the day. Uh, that is the way kids spent their time. I just saw them, and I had to just paint them. So adorable. I remember doing that. That was the best. Those days were the best. They would open up the pump and the kids would be outside playing with the water all day. That was the best. And then over here we have a taxi and I just added like these, um, this is car stock that I cut out dominoes. Um, and then in the winter we had like, like now we don't really have snow like before. I think back in the day we had those big snowstorms and we used to love them and we would spend our time playing with the snow. Look at that. That was back in the day. That was what the kids would do here in New York. And I remember playing until I froze with that. And this is the bodegas back, the, back in the day, the stores. I love that. So many memories. I would play outside in the snow until I froze, like froze. And then go inside, get warm, and then do it again. Here's the Brooklyn Bridge and a couple there. So pretty. Um, here I have another floating pocket, and this here are well, more pictures of the Brooklyn Bridge. And then here is Grand Central Station in the city. Um, this is actually a postcard, vintage postcard. Look at that. That's Grand Central Station, and then another picture there. But you can also see the Manhattan Bridge right next to the Brooklyn Bridge. 
So that's awesome. Let me just put one here. And add another flower there. Okay. And some more um, like art pages. Here we have the Manhattan Bridge. Right there. Manhattan Bridge. Um, Open well started construction in 1904 and completed in 1909. This is the bridge right there, beautiful Manhattan Bridge. And then I have this that I created. Here is another picture of the Manhattan Bridge, gorgeous at night. So I just added like these little tabs here. To make it into like just slip something in there in between there which is a good idea just to add an image and then we have Dumbo which is part of the Manhattan Bridge so Dumbo is an area where people go and they sightsee and they sit down by the bridge and they eat there's a lot of restaurants there's stores and there's um some printable musical paper, some more printable, and then they have this by Dumbo too. Um, this is like the family. They have that beautiful carousel there. Look at that. That's beautiful. It has so much charm. Look at that. That's gorgeous. The detail. So they have that by Dumbo for the family. So you can go and spend time with your kids and eat. It's really nice. And so Dumbo st uh, stands for. Um, down under Manhattan Bridge overpass because it's right by there. So look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. So they have that um, there. You can take um, family, have a nice time. Some more of that card. Um, Scrapbook and paper. Here we have the bridge, and then here you see during the daytime what people do. They just have picnics. They'll just sit by the bridge, have sun, and then here's another shot of it. Gorgeous. The city here, and the Verrazano Bridge is right by me. Um, so the Rubber Donald Bridge was built in 1964. This is way before I was born too. But so that that right there, I go with my husband there. Sometimes we'll just walk all the way, you know, just to get some air and also to do a little bit of exercise. But that's also for bikers and for people who are roller skating and things like that. So it's beautiful. And it's right by the water. And then I just put the little ruffles there. Um, here we have some grocery stores here in New York. Bodegas, that's what we call it. And this is the Bodegas Black in the Day. And it actually says Bodegas. So. And this picture here, I actually found this picture by mistake. And this is actually Sunset Park, my neighborhood. Um, I want to say this is the this is the 70s. Hmm. Yeah, I want to say like the 70s because um, the Coliseum is still there. So um, this is actually Sunset Park. Um, this is the church that I was baptized in right there. You can see it from a distance. And then right here is a theater that I used to go with my brother. And I remember the theater being like $2. And we would see three movies. And we would stay there all night. And my mom... Would have to pick us up at 12 o'clock at night because we were still watching movies and um it so happens that her childhood friend from puerto rico was the owner of that theater and he would just let her walk in anytime she wanted to to pick us up and she already every time he saw her, he was like oh all right go get your kids don't worry about it you know and it was funny so that brings back a lot of memory because that coliseum is no longer there and so i love it and the cars look at the way they were before 
love 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 so I'm so happy I found this picture yeah so so interesting and I just made this here these little corners so they can stop the paper from going all the way down and it also gives it a nice look and I added the flower in the middle um, here of course I added um, this printable that I did um, of course I needed to add the World Trade Center um, because it was something that was so tragic and so close to my heart here um, everyone that is from New York felt it like so so hard and so I had to put it in my journal um, because it was such a tragedy and so I thought we will never forget 9-11 I added the American flag New York City and this is one of the original pictures so I added it there and then this is the Verrazano Bridge the one that I say I walk with my husband beautiful and then here um, I have the Freedom Tower so I have the original World Trade Center and then I have the Freedom Tower which is the new World Trade So I had to add that there. Um, here I have some more pictures of the World Trade Center. Um, and then this is actually a um, vintage card, postcard of the World Trade Center. And then uh, this one here is actually the memorial um, where one of the buildings stood. And then here, on these sides here, which goes all the way around, is written all the names of the people that perished. And there's holes, and you can put flowers on there. It's beautiful. And then you see the light, and there's water going down into the hole. And so I went there, I want to say probably after COVID, with my niece. She came from Puerto Rico, and she just wanted to go. And so we went. And... It was, oh my God, it was, it just made me cry. There's so many things in there that's so sentimental and, oh, so, I mean, it's, it's good to go and visit, you know, I wanted my daughter to know about the history and things like that, but it's just so, it hits your heart really bad. And they still have like, um, you know, boots and wallets and things like that of the people that perished, some of their stuff was still there and you hear recordings of calls, it was just so, oh. It just made me cry so bad. But I'm glad they have that uh, memorial, you know, for World Trade. So anyway, this is the skyline of New York in watercolor. Um, here we have a little book on bridge. I just made it into a pocket. So these are, um, uh, I just wanted to show these. I used to play these when I was a little girl, the jacks. Uh, this was such a popular game. That was how we spent our time. And I always tell my daughter these things like, you know, when we grew up, we didn't have computers, we didn't have phones. And I think that was the best thing that ever happened to us because I feel like kids back, they, back then were so much happier. They were always outside playing, you know, the neighborhood always took care of them, at least in my neighborhood. Um, like the, the store owners and stuff like that, they watched over the kids in the neighborhood. And so we were always safe, you know. And then we were always like um, sitting in our stoops in the summer, you know, playing cards. It's just like hanging out, but, you know, in a safe way. And it, I thought it was so much fun. And I always told my daughter, you know, like, that's the way kids really have to be. No freaking, um, with all these phones and things like that, technology is not always good, you know. It's good, but it's not always good. These kids just want to be on their phones all day. This is the other side of that printable. Um, I put Wall Trade Center in New York. I just added like little bits of it. Um, let's see what I have here. So here I have also the way. Um, so here are the girls playing jacks. I just love these pictures. I just had to print them out. Playing jacks. I remember playing with my. We used to have competitions with the jacks. Here are the um, boys playing um, stickball. I used to see that all the time going up. Um, then this is just a tag of a mural in Spanish Harlem of Michael Jackson when he's young and when he's old. 
So I saw that. I just had to make a tag out of it. I thought that was nice. We have some dictionary paper. I just added that. That's like a street sign. Here we have more pictures, old pictures of kids and mothers just in the front chit chatting. This one's having a cup of coffee. That was awesome. And then you see them here too. Teenagers and stuff ready to go out or whatever. I thought that was so cool. Um, let's see what else. Here are pictures of Spanish Harlem. This is back, 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 way before my mom. So I just like this picture and I just wanted to print it out and put it there. So this is probably in 1930s, I'm going to say. I could be wrong. But that's in Spanish Harlem. And then here is that picture again. But you can see it better because it was cut off of the kids playing the water and the pump. Spanish Harlem. That's awesome. I love those black and white pictures. And here I added another flower. Another uh, cardstock. I mean, scrap looking paper, printable, musical page, another printable there of the city. Uh, here's the hot dog, because you know the city is, uh, New York is known for that. Get a famous New York City hot dog. Um, this here, of course, is our subway. Um, transportation, MTA, the trains here in New York. I don't know how to get a picture of that. Here is the Empire State Building, a tag that I made. Here we have the horse and carriage that's in the city. Um, here is another train. Some more of those pictures of um, teenagers in the stoop. This is that picture that I showed in the beginning in the printable. And this is actually the original picture in Harlem. Love that. Uh, and then this is just a vintage cardstock of New York. And it says there, dinner, uh, $1.50. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. $1.50 for dinner. Can you imagine? Yeah, I just put a one. Oh, I just did a, this is a belly band right here, but I added like, so it doesn't go down. Here's another picture of a young men playing stickball. And this looks like it could be the 1940s, I want to say, in the street of Brooklyn. Not even Brooklyn, I think this is Spanish Harlem. And then we have another tag here of the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, let's see. Here I just put a tag. I put the um, Statue of Liberty there. Some more pictures of Spanish Heart and the kids in the street. Love these pictures. Just love them. Um, and then this is just a little note card there. The book and bridge. Here is another little booklet that I made. Um, I just added this little flower there with the clip. Um, New York City train station. So here's the train, and this is the inside of the train. I just made it into a booklet. I could write the little notes in there. I could write my notes. Here I have another little pin with a star. Here is that picture of that little, those little boys with the Puerto Rican hats on. And a picture of the World Trade Center there. Another note card there. The Brooklyn Bridge in watercolor. Here's another set of that um, cards, not cards, that scrapbooking paper. Here we have two old men playing um, checkers in the park because that's what they do in the summer here. Um, we have the... Um, Statue of Liberty, I made it into a pocket, and then you see the New York City bus. Um, another just card that I added to that. New York, Chicago, St. Louis, Toronto, London, Buenos Aires, Paris, Milan, and Athens. Just something to put in that pocket there. Let's 
see what I have here. So here I have, um, what is this? Okay, so now I have Coney Island. So Coney Island is a huge part of Brooklyn. Um, this is actually Coney Island um, back in the day. This was in the 19... Um, it was 1909. And it's, uh, for those of you that don't know Coney Island, of course, if you've never been to New York, um, it's a famous amusement park. But it became a lot of other things before it became an amusement park. And this is it. Back in the day, it, does, it looks nothing like that now. And I spent a lot of time in, in Coney Island as a kid. And I still go there as an adult. And I take my daughter. This is just a, a vintage uh, card. I love those cards. Um, and then this is Radio City Music Hall in the city. Where they do a lot of performances and things like that, events. So now to Coney Island. Um, so here is some history of Coney Island. Um, so uh, Coney Island uh, has the name Coney Island um, because I didn't know this when I was researching. I just found this out. Um, it was the island of rabbits because there was a large population of rabbits. So they called it Conan, Co Coney, Coning, Coning, K O N I J N, Coning. Um, it had wild rabbits, um, and then it winded up being Coney. Is it New York City's Coney Island became hugely popular at the turn of the 20th century? Its beach, amusement parks, and annual events all contribute to its long-standing popularity. So that's what it became after that. And this is Coney Island here today. Um, I'm not sure how old these pictures are, but um, that's kind of like what it looks like today. So That's part of the amusement park. I'll show you what it looked like before, back in the day. But Coney Island is a very big part of Brooklyn, New York. Um, I know I have tons of fond memories from this amusement park. And it was there ever since I was born. Before I was born, it was already there. And so, um, yeah, it's awesome. I remember my dad taking me there. He used to get so excited going there. So these are just like the old um, advertisements. Um, back in the day, I found a whole bunch of them. And so I printed them out when they were advertising um, Strongman, a Spectacular, and things like that. They had the haunted house. This is um, a little bit of what it looks like today. It has the boardwalk there, you see it? It's just awesome for the summer. Here's some more of the printables. Here is part of the boardwalk. Um, then we have the parachute. Um, so now this is a landmark, but it was uh, back in the day, uh, there was a parachute um, thing that would come down from here with people. It was a ride. Um, and so they suspended it. I think there were too many accidents. I'm not sure. I think I heard that people died. Um, several people died. And so they closed it. But they kept it as a landmark. They can't remove it. It's a beautiful landmark. But um, they made it into something else now. Um, so this is Coney Island back in the day. This was the 19, I think I want to say 1909. Look how beautiful. The women used to dress like that back in the day. But Coney Island was so elegant and it, it had, it was just gorgeous back in the day. It's not like now. I mean, it's still nice and, but I just go back to the times when, and it was called Luna Park at the day, at that time. Um, it's still part, parts of it is still Luna Park. But um, compared to now, it was just so elegant. This is um, the beach by Coney Island. So when I go with my daughter, she usually likes to go to the beach. So we go prepared to go to the beach. And then we'll just, um, after we're done with the beach, we'll go take a walk in the boardwalk. Or we'll go to the um, aquarium, which is right there as well. Uh, of course, we'll eat Nathan's hot dogs. We never go to Coney Island and not eat Nathan's hot dogs. That's one of our things to do when we go there. I just added a light there, and then just a little ruffle, another bead there. So 
So here we have another advertisement. This one actually somebody wrote on it. Found it. See that? And it says Coney Island moving pictures. That's another advertisement there. Here is the beach again by Coney Island. So much fun. What's in here? Let's see. Oh, I just had some journaling cards there from the beach. I thought it would be perfect since we're talking about the beach. Here we have some old pictures of kids on Coney Island that I just made that printable of. Some more musical notes. Here's Coney Island back in the day at night. Look how gorgeous that is. Look at that. That's not there anymore, but look at this. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. That's gorgeous. I wish it looked like that now. Um, so this is uh, the famous cyclone. This has been there more than 100 years, this cyclone, and it's made out of wood. And they maintain it for more than 100 years, and it still is the most popular um, roller coaster, or whatever you want to call that, in Coney Island. Um, they have the aquarium now, which they didn't have for a little bit. They had it, but it was old, and they remodeled. They made it. They reconstructed it and made it so beautiful. And it's, look at look at that's part of it there. It's gorgeous. And then this is just an old advertisement of Coney Island. Beautiful. I add another flower there. So here I'm using my um my folders that I showed in my tutorial that they go both ways. Um, they also added the uh, lion. So this is the lion, sea lion park, which um, I go to all the time with my daughter too. Um, this was actually made, uh, it was it became part of Coney Island in 1895. But this is what it looks like now. Gorgeous. And then this here is uh this was the entrance of it back in the day look how beautiful that is that is like wow so grand that was the entrance of it back in the day amazing here's the old picture of nathan's hot dogs made in 1916 let's see so this is part of it here you see compared to those pictures that i showed you that's what it looks like that's what it used to look like look at the boardwalk look at the structure the architecture look at that that was just gorgeous and that that tower right there was just added so it said um it was called the telegraph tower and it was put there on 1845. so it said luna park opened its gates to the public in 1903. that was when it became luna park but before that um it was coney island um, they, they created, and it said Dreamland. It became, it had a lot of different names. Um, beautiful. This is it here again, Luna Park. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. Uh, let's see, some more pictures here. Um, and then I have. Um, the pockets that I used in my tutorial. This is the same picture I just showed. So they also had, um, they opened up uh, what was called the Steep Chase Park at Coney Island, which introduces the horses. These weren't real horses, but they kind of raced and the kids liked it. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Here we have the cyclone back in the day. It's still open today. This here, I just made it into a card. It says Brooklyn, New York, Coney Island. I just made it into a card. Um, then I just have here this tag. This here is um, an advertisement of Coney Island. I thought I found it and I thought it would be cool to print it on this paper that I showed not too long ago and just add it to the journal. 
Just put it right here in the center. Here we have more advertisements. And they used to have animals and elephants back in the day. This is the Luna Park again. The entrance. The entrance kept changing, so that was later on. The first one I show you was back back, and then they've changed it to that. Here is the parachute um, that I showed you, the parachute ride. Here it is again from a distance. So this is the parachute. Right, and all of that there is the people on the beach. Look at that. They used to get so packed back in the day. That was where everybody went. And here is the parachute. Look how beautiful. It looks beautiful. So they don't tear it down. Um, it's a landmark now. So yeah, at night it looks beautiful with the lights. They change, they, they they add lights to it for Christmas and things like that. This is Nathan's favorite hot dog back in the day. Five cents for a hot dog. Here it is. Oh, just talking about it. Here it is. Look how beautiful that looks. And then they have like restaurants in the bottom of it now. So that's gorgeous. And uh, here is another advertisement. I'm sorry, guys. I know this video is super long. For those of you that are saying thank you so much for watching the whole video, I know it's super long. Um, here is a picture of back in the day, Pony Island, and um, with the little elephant. Look how cute. The girls with their swimsuits. And here I have a side pocket. I added this butterfly on the clip. I hope it doesn't come out like the other one. More pictures of Pony Island. Here I have an envelope. One of the envelopes I showed. More pictures of Pony Island, old ones. Um, here I have Nathan's. The same picture I just showed in the tag. And it says... So Charles Feltman was the one that invented the hot dog um, at Coney Island, which is now known as Nathan Hot Dogs. But he is the one that invented the hot dog. But one of his workers was actually the one that opened up Nathan's. Um, and so he introduced this sausage sandwich called hot dog in 1916. And then Nathan's hand worker opens Nathan's hot dogs at Coney Island. That's awesome. So he invented the hot dog in 1867 and introduced it in 1916 in Coney Island and then his worker was the one that opened Nathan's hot dog because he was actually the one the owner the one that invented the hot dog he had restaurants already and so he um he he charged a lot like he used to cater to the upper middle class um his restaurants were very expensive and so the the boy that worked for him in the restaurant he just decided to open up his own little shop he actually helped them open it up, and he told them to take the credit for the hot dogs and just sell them, and he made it into his own. So he made it into Nathan's, which was cool. They became very popular. Um, this is a printable of the city of New York. Watercolor. Here we have some more pictures of the parachutes. There you go. You see how they opened up? And this is just the old vintage card of Coney Island. That's awesome, Mike. Here we have that picture of those kids in the beach. They look so cute. Here we have another advertisement, Coney Island Technicolor. Um, I guess this is like a movie. Another old picture. This was in, uh, this is Coney Island actually. Look how old that is. And that's horse and carriage. That's how old Coney Island is. This is the... Um, I think it's either Penn Station or Grand Central Station in the city. I just added that flower in the middle. I add another flower there. Um, here we have another picture of the parachutes, but you actually see them sitting on it. See that? They're going down. With the parachute and you see everybody down there look how tiny they look that's scary um and then here we have another vintage card old vintage card 
Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, Bike, 7-Up. Love those pictures. And this is another picture of Grand Center Station in New York. Watercolor, beautiful. Almost finished, almost finished. Uh, the Brooklyn Bridge. And this is the train station by Coney Island. Here we have the Cyclone today. That's what it looks like today. Still there, same cyclone. Um, we have a picture of the train station. And it says 20th Street, downtown Brooklyn. 23rd Street. Uh, let's see. We have more pictures here. And this one shows the Wonder Wheel. Famous. Wonder Wheel is also very famous and very popular in Coney Island. Um, here it is again. Beautiful at night. That part looks very beautiful at night. And just a regular tag here. And one thing that I found out while researching Coney Island is that they had back in the day, way, 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 way before I was born, probably way before my mom was born too, um, they had an elephant hotel. Elephant, an elephant hotel. So this um, elephant, yeah, of course, way, way before us. So in 1882, they had an elephant hotel, but it becomes associated with prostitution, which prompts the local expression seeing the elephant. Hmm. So there's the elephant, um, the elephant hotel. Look at that. I didn't know that. See, I found that out. Um, so I had, let's see. I did read it. Fire and design. It had 31 rooms. Located Coney Island, Book New York, built shape of an elephant, for example, on the stories. Elsa, 12th Street. From 1885 until 1896, when it burned down in a fire during its lifespan, the third 31 room building acted as a concert hall and amusement bazaar. There it goes. 31 rooms, that's a lot. So that's the elephant. Hotel, and I think they said that there's only three of them. This was the third one in the whole world that they made. That they made. That's very interesting to know. Um, here we have the Wonder Wheel again. Beautiful. Here's the park again. That's what it looks like pretty much now today. It's bright and fun. Not like before, but I wish it would had some characters from before. Here is an old picture of um, Coney Island. The Wonder Wheel was not there. They switched it up. That's actually not the Wonder Wheel. This was a smaller one because the Wonder Wheel came later and you, you see right next to the parachute, it was, it's not there. So this is a different one. Back in the day, it's an old picture. Everything was so different back in the day. Okay, okay, okay. Um, here's an old picture of the cyclone. So the cyclone um, begins operation 1927, it says. So it's almost 100 years. Here's a little tag. Here's the cyclone again. Very popular when it opened up. Here's some of that printable that I made. Here's the other side of the Nathan's um, printable. Here I just put like a big stamp. Um, and in 1923, the boardwalk um, opens. That's the boardwalk there. So much fun. And then here we have some young girls in the cyclone back in the day. Here's that picture that I showed and made it into a principal. Here we have a pretzel, which is also very popular in New York, in Coney Island, everywhere you see, everywhere in New York in the summer, that's where you see pretzels. Um, here's another pic of the cyclone from another angle there. Just a journaling card. 
that there another card or tag here's another part of the one the wheel on Ironman. I just added this of course I had to add the red apple of New York here I have an envelope um, and also what they added is a baseball field in Coney Island now you see the parachute there uh, that was never there um, and I'm, I don't remember what year they opened this but that's one of the most recent parts of Coney Island they added a baseball field here we have a tag with um, art that you will see in New York here is Pony Island at night. It's gorgeous. You can see the parachute tower there. This is a zoo in um, Pony Island in the 19, the beginning of the 1900s. Look at that. We don't have a zoo anymore. We just have an aquarium. So they had a zoo back in the day. Um, and then this is just a watercolor card, uh, journaling card. With the taxi cab. It would have been nice if we had a zoo. They would have kept a zoo. And coming towards the end of the journal, that's just the vellum page there. And then at the end, I'm showing the horse and carriage of New York. If you go to Manhattan, this is what you'll see. Um, horse and carriage, you pay. They take you into the Central Park and you get a really nice ride. It's romantic. It's good for dates. Very nice. You could take your kids. Very nice. So that's also a part of New York horse and carriage. So I wanted to add it there. I don't know if you can see it because it does have some glare. So bring it up so you can see. That's one there. And there goes the other one there. Yeah, so that is my nationality journal. I had to add all of these things in there because there was one time or another in my life where um, I shared in those areas, um, my childhood and things like that. And so I wanted to add that to my journal and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope, I know this video was, was super long, but thank you for those of you that stood. Um, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think of the journal. It's humongous colossus. <laughs> it's a colossal journal. And this is the first journal that I've ever made like this. So I'm really happy. Um, that I made it this way because I'm able to put everything I wanted inside um, and I really enjoyed it creating it brought back a lot of memories and I learned a lot too the history of where I was born and things like that so I just want to fix this the way that it goes so you stood for the whole video thank you I appreciate it let me know what you think of the journal. Go check out um, Dahlia and Isabel and their journals. Um, I don't know who else joined in in the collab. So, um, I'm going to link Dahlia and Isabel down below so you can uh, make it easy for you guys to find her find them and you can check out their journals I'm sure the journals are much shorter than mine um, and so it's good to see these journals very interesting you get to know a little bit about the person and the history and things like that so thank you so much guys for joining me to Isabel and Dahlia thank you so much for creating this collab I enjoyed it so so much and I hope you guys like what I created thank you so much to all my new subscribers and friends out there uh, for joining me again and um, I appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next video. Take care and God bless.